everybody, it's Chantel with Telly's Talking Chuck. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're all well. When you're jumping in, say hello. Let me know where you're coming in from. Like and follow the business page. Check out my VIP group, Telly's Talking Chuck VIP. You can also check me out on YouTube and Instagram at Telly's Talking Chuck. I'm going to get this shared out where I can. If you jump on and can do the same, that would be awesome. We're going to make sure this is not yelling at me. Yay, I like quick places that I can do this with. Facebook always changes up how we can put out our videos. Okay. So let's just do it this way. This is going to be a short video, but please check out all of my other videos. You will find my website at tellystalkingchalk.ca. That is where you'll find all of my finished pieces and links to the websites for ordering individual pieces. Today we're going to do Hallelujah. Okay, that was in a good spot. My video is always delayed that I can see, so it helps, or it confuses me on where exactly my spacing is. Now, I am going to fuzz this. All that means is I'm putting it down on a towel or our fuzzing cloth. Chuck Tour does do, or sorry, does sell the, hey Ryan, how are you, hon? Sell the fuzzing cloths so that you don't have to do it on anything else. But you can do it on a towel or your shirt or your pants. This is not wanting to come off. The only thing when you have no nails is trying to get this to come off. This is a brand new transfer for like me. I've had it for a while, but I haven't used it. I legit, I might need my husband. Polly, I need your help. Because I can't actually get this one off. I've tried all four corners and neither one of them want to. Thank you. Alright, so we're just going to put this down. We're going to put this down about five or six times just to bring up some lint because when you put it down on a surface, if it's not got some lint on it, it will pull up really harsh and stretch your transfer. It may bring up the paste or depending on what surface you're using, it actually might bring up the surface too. So if you're doing it on like wood, it might bring up particles of the wood. So I wouldn't want you to do that. So you fuzz. Again, I'm doing it a bunch of times. I'm not even sure how many times I've done it. But I'm trying to do it as many times as I can to make sure that when I put it down, it won't hurt. 
so. Put it down here like this. I'm gonna try to make this as straight as possible. If you are on the replay, hashtag replay in the comments. Let me know that you've been here. If you want to know more about Chalk Couture, hashtag Chalk in the comments. If you would like to know about Club Couture, which is our subscription box, hashtag Club in the comments. So what I'm going to do is I decided that I'm going to do it in white and our eucalyptus as a hot mess technique. I know that was backward or upside down. Sorry. I just wanted to do the hot mess technique. It's really fun. So we're just going to take a little bit of the white. My white needs a little bit of water, but that's okay. I've had this one since I started, and I started two and a half years ago almost. So, so you're just going to put a little bit of the color down wherever you want. The only part that it's going to go down is in the silk screen. These are reusable 8 to 12 times. Sometimes even more, depending on how well you take care of them. So take care of them well, and you'll get your bang for your buck. So I'm now going to use the eucalyptus. Again, just take a bunch of it. Throw it down in some other areas. The darker colors will take over, so depending on how dark you want it, that's how much you want to use. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to scrape across. Now normally you would put this right back into your, um, your jars, but because you're mixing colors, you might not want to, or you might want to get an individual jar and just mark down what colors you put in there and then only use those colors in that spot or in that jar. That helps only because, oh, I don't want to waste this. Oh, I'm going to put it on here for a minute. because it's going to make a different color than what it had originally been. Now, if you don't mind that, then you can just disregard that, but some people. So, now what we're going to do is all we're going all we're going to do is now reveal. It. We're going to try to pull this as evenly as possible so that not to wreck the transfer and also you don't want it to bleed so if it was thinner of a paste it might bleed my pastes right now are actually thicker the white is the old paste and the eucalyptus is the new paste so they are so the white is a thicker paste and the eucalyptus is a little dry today. You just have to use some distilled water to make that better. I don't even know if you're going to see the eucalyptus in this, but it is in it. I just didn't want to use too much of it and make a really darker color design, but can 
Can you see the difference in that color? Where the white is? Oh, I'm too far. And I don't know if you can see the different colors in it. I can a little bit, but. Thanks, Ryan. But I really like how that turned out. It does have differences in it. The camera might not be showing it great, but I'm going to put it on its stand and then I'll show you in the other camera. Oh, and I did it right on the right spot, too. Okay, so, I don't know if you can... Is that easier to see that it's different colors? It almost looks like I turned it blue, like a light blue, rather than the eucalyptus and the white. I want you to be able to see it, but it's hard. Uh, like, I can see it when you're close up, but the camera's just not showing you. And then we did this, what, a week ago? Something around there. One day or day one, you decide. I love this one. This one's my... Um, now that I just said that. Toastmasters. In my head. Day one or? Or day one day one. or day one. You decide. So that is all I have for you today. I'm sorry that it's a quick live, but I hope you all enjoyed. My eyes really itchy all of a sudden. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, so we will be live at five. Yes. I always second guess myself when I say this. We will be live at five tomorrow. So come check us out. And we'll see you then. Bye, guys.